Alright, today I'll be showing you how to downgrade from firmware version 2.0 to firmware version 1.1.4. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, make sure that your iPod or iPhone is plugged in. You open up iTunes and make sure you sync all your music and everything up with uh, your iPod or iPhone. And after you're done syncing, go ahead and close iTunes. Now you want to go into this folder. If you're on Windows XP, it's going to be located under Documents and Settings, Username, My Documents, My Music, then iTunes. If you're on Vista, it's going to be under Users, uh, Username, Music, then iTunes. Now I'm on Vista. So you can see it's uh, C Drive, Users, My Name, Music, then iTunes. What you want to do is uh, rename this file. Right here is iTunes library.itl. You want to go ahead and rename that to old.itl. And at this point, you're going to want to uh, uninstall iTunes. You can do that if you go to start, then go to your uh, control panel. Uninstall program. Go down to iTunes and click uninstall. Are you sure you want to uninstall? Click yes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this video and come back when it's done uninstalling. Alright, once it's uh, done uninstalling, go ahead and reboot your uh, computer. Now at this point you're going to need to download iTunes version uh, 7.5. Uh, you can get this from my website iPodTouch.net under the download section. After you download it, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, install iTunes version 7.5. Reason, you need to downgrade your iTunes version in order to uh, downgrade from 2.0 is that you are unable to uh, downgrade your firmware in uh, the new iTunes 7.7. Uh, so go ahead and just uh, install um, iTunes 7.5. I'll go ahead and just run the install. Um, I'll come back when it's uh, finished installing. Once iTunes is done installing, go ahead and uh, plug in your iPod or your iPhone. And you will probably receive this, or you will receive this uh, message letting you know that uh, you can't use your iPod or iPhone because it requires 7.7. Uh, .7. Just click OK. Uh, iTunes should open now. Now, at this point, what you're going to want to do is uh, put your iPod or iPhone into uh, DFU mode. And to do that, you're going to hold your uh, home button and your power button down together simultaneously for 10 seconds. After the 10 seconds are up, you let go of the power button, but continue to hold the home button. Go ahead and put the camera down and do that right now. Alright, so I'm going to hold both buttons down for 10 seconds. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. Let go of the power button. Still holding on to the home button. Give it some time. Eventually connect back to iTunes. As you can see it popped up. And go ahead and let go of the home button now. This point, go ahead and click OK. And now you will hold down your shift key and then click on uh, restore. Uh, one thing, so your iPod should look like this when it's in DFU mode. It should look like it's off. If you have the little connect iTunes symbols, you are not in DFU mode. You need to unplug your iPod or iPhone, plug it back in and try again to put it into a DFU mode. So go ahead and uh, select your uh, 
1.1.4 firmware. Click OK. If you don't have that downloaded already, 1.4, you can get that from my website as well. I have the iPod firmware and the iPhone firmware. So make sure that you download the correct one and you restore to the correct one. Let's see, so this is preparing the iPod for restore. I'm going to pause the video and come back once it's uh, finished restoring. Alright, it is finished restoring. Uh, it does take a couple minutes to restore, so just be patient. See, it's uh, booting up. I'll give you that symbol for a second. I'm just going to ask you to restore either to a previous backup or set up as a new iPod. Um, I'll go ahead and restore from my backup. See it's uh, restoring. And if for some reason it doesn't work, you get any type of error. All you'll need to do is just unplug your iPod or iPhone and plug it back in. And you'll have to uh, manually resync all your music and everything else again. Um, but it should just restore from your backup if you synced it right before you uninstalled uh, iTunes 7.7. .7. So you can see it didn't have any issues restoring from the backup. So it's uh, booting up now. At this point, you can go ahead and just uh, close iTunes. Um, as you can see, it created a new iTunes library.itl. I guess I closed iTunes too soon. So cancel. Close that. Yes, I want to quit. Um, you can go ahead and let it sync up. Do what you want to do, but for video purposes, um, let's cancel all that. As you can see, there's a new iTunes library. What you want to do is update or upgrade back to uh, iTunes 7.7. .7. After you do that, what you want to do is uh, copy that and actually uh, delete this file and go back to the old one that you had renamed earlier click rename and rename that iTunes library ITL and now you'll have all your uh, music and videos and everything else that you had previously um, but that's it that's all you downgrade from 2.0 to 1.1.4 uh, make sure to check out my website ipodtouch.net